ICON-G is a free pictographic communication system based on an open, visual vocabulary of characters with built-in translations for most major languages. In May 2010 ICON-G Messenger was released with support for Apple iOS iPhone, iPad, iPod, and most web browsers. Messenger enables point-to-point -point communication in a manner similar to SMS in December 2010. ICONG Social was released as a web application only, with support for Facebook and Twitter as a broadcast medium. The application ICONG Social supported delivery of ICONG enhanced messages via email. ICONG debuted with 1183 unique characters, known as the Lexicong vocabulary, culled from base words used in common daily communications, word frequency lists, often used mathematical and logical symbols, punctuation symbols, and the flags of all nations. The process of assembling a message from ICONG characters is called iconjization see screenshot at right. Since most characters represent an entire word or concept, rather than a single letter or character, ICONG has the potential to be a more efficient communication system than SMS. The usual jumble of text and confusing abbreviations can often be replaced by a short string of colorful icons that convey the identical meaning. With the ICONG Messenger and ICONG Social apps, characters are displayed at a resolution of 32 by 32 pixels, using color PNGs with transparency to round the corners. As all ICONG characters are developed first as vector graphics, this allows essentially infinite scalability, whether for producing new online or smartphone apps, or full-size posters for printed graphic applications such as signs or electronic displays. Thus, future ICONG applications, from in-house or outside developers, may incorporate larger or smaller versions of the characters using the freely available ICONG API. In December 2012, further development of ICONG was brought to a close. Overview Kai Stotts, founder and former CEO of TerraSoft Solutions, original developer of Yellow Dog Linux YDL, was motivated to create a new communications system that combined the speed of SMS with the richness and linguistic depth of a global art project. His intent was to provide a means for communication that could bridge cultural divides. Thus, ICONG is a pictographic communication system, not a spoken language. The characters themselves are evocative of their meanings, and designed to be as cross-cultural as possible. It is a difficult task to even attempt to make pictographic symbols universal in their meaning. Further, not all cultures read symbols or text from left to right, which is the standard for icon G. In addition, some linguistic concepts are too abstract to represent graphically. The first row in the image above the icon G user interface on an iPod shows characters for the pronouns I, you, we, he, she, it, them, and the tilde, which is defined as to be, and its numerous conjugations is, are, was, will be, and so on. These abstract concepts represent a significant barrier to universal pictographic representation, but the ability to read a translation in one's native language if needed, can help bridge that gap. The character at far right is the null, and can be used as a space, a placeholder, or a container for metadata. Unique to icon G is its inclusion of both an inferred meaning, suggested by the pictographs themselves, and the translations that accompany each character. At the close of 2010, these translations included English, French, German, Hindi, Italian, Japanese, Polish, Spanish, Swahili, Swedish, and Toki Pona. There is no practical limit to the number of languages that could be translated and included. Likewise, there is no limit to the number of individual characters that could be incorporated. The ICONG vocabulary is open to revision, anyone in the world may design and contribute new characters for use in global communications. Through the artist community, users are able to add their own characters to the lexicon G with approval, or revise existing character icons they feel could be better represented graphically. Topic. Implementation The screenshot above shows most features and functionality of the icon G application. Starting at top right, the search icon magnifying glass opens a text field in the dark blue window that allows a text search for specific characters. Below that is the To field, where the recipient can be inserted from a built-in address book. 
Below that is another field where selected Iconji characters can be assembled into a string to compose the message Iconization. The next section down is a 6x9 matrix of characters from which the user can select specific characters. In the iOS applications this is accomplished by a finger tap, in the browser application by a point and click. In both cases, a hover pops up a small box displaying the definition of the character in the user's declared language. The bottom most line consists of what are called buckets. Each user customizable bucket contains another 54 characters that can be grouped by type or frequency of use. The seventh bucket contains 54 commonly used mathematical and logical symbols. The eighth bucket is bottomless and serves as a repository for all other characters, with no limit to the number contained. Selecting that bucket generates a scrollable list of those characters. It is the user's customization of these buckets that enables Iconji to rival or exceed SMS in terms of efficiency and speed. Inflections A few other modern pictographic systems use inflection symbols to expand meanings, for example, Blissymbolics, icon G includes inflections for present, past, or future tense verbs, adjectives, adverbs, and possessives. The user can also add metadata, if desired, to clarify the meaning or include additional text content. All inflections are indicated as glyphs at standardized positions around the base and top of the icon G character. In most cases the inflection should be apparent from context, but for messages where ambiguity could arise, inflections provide a means to remove that ambiguity. For example, the gallery below shows four inflected variations of the character defined as start to start. Many icon G characters follow this noun plus infinitive verb format to enable unambiguous translation from its base English into other languages. Given the widely varying conventions for verb conjugation found in other languages, this is arguably the most flexible way to present a base definition. Examples <laughs> 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 The sample iconization shown on the screenshot translates as follows. This demonstrates clearly how meaning can be conveyed using a minimal number of characters. The fourth character is formally defined as clock, time, but would be interpreted as a clock when used in this context. If the sender and receiver usually meet for coffee at the same location, no other information is needed. If the intended location is different from the usual, the iconization could be changed to here, the triangular inflection mark on the second character at indicates the presence of metadata in that character. Metadata can be added or accessed via a text box pop-up by clicking on the character, and could include a business name, address, GPS coordinates, or other information. Alternatively, the sender can convey more specific location instructions using the characters themselves, for example, in this example, the third character I, me, has been inflected with the possessive modifier, changing the meaning to my. The two instances of the at character are included for grammatical clarity, but could likely be excluded without changing the interpreted meaning. In all of these examples, the recipient's response could be similarly concise, as the following three examples show. In the first response, we see the flexibility of the icon G system, as well as some word play. The first character is formally defined as sound, audio, and can thus be used in many contexts. The second character is formally defined as angelic, saintly, good, implying the overall meaning, sounds good. In the second response, additional information is returned by the recipient requesting the sender to arrive early, using the adverb modifier on early. Whether the adverb modifier is really needed is a matter of question since, between frequent users, certain conventions will become established by previous usage. In the final and most concise response, only a single character yes is returned by the recipient. <laughs> Artist community In February 2011 Icon-G launched its artist community. Anyone who saw the need for a new character, or a better version of an existing character, was encouraged to create and submit a unique design. 
There were several criteria for acceptance of a submitted character, but the process was made simple using freely available online graphic templates, instructions, and examples. Character icons were created as vector graphics in tools such as Adobe Illustrator, CorelDRAW, or the free online application SVG Edit. Alternatively, the proposed character icon could be hand-drawn, scanned as a 300 dpi bitmap, and converted to vector graphics format before being submitted as a potential addition to the icon G vocabulary. Definitions for the characters also follow a strict format and, where ambiguities could exist, need to follow a format that utilizes extended definitions to remove those ambiguities, both for users and translators. For example, Miss the salutation for an unmarried female Miss the feeling of sorrow resulting from someone or something lost Miss to miss the act of not connecting with a target or goal note how the last example again defaults to the noun plus infinitive verb format mentioned above the artist also had the opportunity if desired to associate metadata with their character explaining the story behind the design who they are and their country of residence once accepted the character was made available for use globally by all ikonji users the artist had the ability to track the use of their character using the Iconji Explorer application on the Iconji website no longer maintained. The first Iconji communications workshop was held at Colorado State University on April 7, 2011. Forty participants representing a dozen countries convened to discuss the cross-cultural potential of this pictographic system. Over 100 new pictographs were designed and entered into the Iconji vocabulary. Precedents There has been no shortage of attempts to create a new and better universal language. An exhaustive account of these efforts can be found in the book In the Land of Invented Languages by Erika Okrent. According to Okrent, in the last thousand years, more than 900 languages have been invented, often by individuals who believed they had a universal solution for global, cross-cultural communication. Most attempts at creating a new language failed due to overly ambitious goals, or eccentricities of their inventor. Many attempts have been based on pictograms or logograms, including Icon G and the following. Of all the recently invented pictographic systems, Blissymbolics is the most successful to date. It is used to assist communications challenged individuals, providing them a structured means by which they may convey concepts, and more recently, providing a point and click software interface. The Noun Project is another effort to establish cross-cultural communication. It purports to be a repository of universal icons, but suffers the same ambiguities as previous universal language attempts. The icons therein are primarily from public domain icon databases, for example, restroom, traffic, mall, and airport icons, not all of which translate across cultures. The collection does include icons designed by individuals, but currently lacks guidelines for design beyond their stated desire for scale, proportion, and shape. Also of note is emoji, based on a vocabulary of 722 emoticons, and popular in electronic communications throughout Japan. Emoji icons are heavily slanted toward conveying emotional punctuation, and more useful in augmenting SMS than in communicating complete standalone messages. Other pictographic systems have been less successful, as described here, list of writing systems. There have also been many attempts to create universal spoken languages, the most notable of which is Esperanto. For more examples, see Universal Language. 